Now that we have the pre-production uh, filter described here and its function, let's look at the bandwidth. The bandwidth is described by Carson's rule, the generalized Carson rule, where the bandwidth if of the received signal is governed by 2 multiplied by the quantity of D plus 1 multiplied by B where B is the bandwidth of the message signal and D is the deviation ratio which is the ratio of maximum change in the frequency of the carrier divided by the highest frequency of the message signal. Now to, for the case of where Carson's rules for a sinusoid we can simplify the problem such that our message is only a sinusoid having a frequency message of FM. We can factor out FM here and then you could see that we have a delta F max over FM and we call that the modulation index for an FM signal as discussed in chapter 5 and then plus 1. So if there's a lot of frequency deviation when compared to the message frequency, then we can approximate this. We can get rid of this plus FM and we can say the bandwidth is essentially 2 delta F max. However, if FM is much larger than delta F max, then we can say that it's only 2 FM is the bandwidth, which is known as narrow band FM. Again, if you just only had 2 delta F max, that is known as wideband FM. Again, this specific Carson's rule is associated with a sinusoidal signal, but in here, generalized Carson's rule is known as this deviation ratio, where we replace it with basically the highest frequency of the message in the denominator shown here. And the beta is known as the frequency modulated index. So note the similarity between this equation here, 2FM times the quantity beta plus 1, which is specialized for the sinusoidal message with the more generalized case where we have 2 times the quantity D plus 1 multiplied by B, which is the bandwidth of the signal. Alright, so here for angle modulated signal, we recall that our received signal X of T can be generalized as an angle modulated signal where we have alpha which is the attenuation uh, factor at the receiver where it's being transmitted to the receiver and that's how much the signal gets decreases. AC is the amplitude of the carrier and the angle of the carrier is denoted as 2 pi FCT plus theta of T. And this is where theta of T has our signal embedded in theta of T where we have for phase modulated case we have delta phi max multiplied by a normalized signal to the ratio such that the maximum amplitude of SN of T is 1 and that the, any deviation associated with the angle of theta of T is associated with phi, delta phi max here. Now for the frequency modulated signal in radians per second where we have the 2 pi delta F max is radians per second and when we take the derivative of the angle here then we're just left with 2 pi delta F max multiplied by SN of T after we finish taking the derivative of two in order to find the instantaneous frequency associated with this signal.